Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Kenyans are asking, where is Maina Jenga? As the reports we received date 20th, the former Mungiki leader, Maina Jenga, was arrested together with his brother and personal assistant at Olo Surutia area in Kajiado County, that what family says. As we speak now, we don't know where is Maina Jenga. Is he alive or is he somewhere not arrested or is there a plan or rather extra plan with the life of Maina Jenga? This is the question as arrest is continuing among those who are supporting Azimio team as they are facing a kind of raid in out, day in, day out. You've seen whatever is happening all the way when it comes to Maina Jenga. The other time he was arrested and even his homes were raided, including the home in Nakuru the home here in Nairobi, and other homes of Laikipi, or rather not Laikipi, the, the Maina Jenga. But now, we have a constitution where if someone has been found guilty, he or she must be presented to the court. If you have arrested someone, someone has committed a crime, and you have evidence, you must present he or she before the court. Despite even the court came out giving order through his lawyer, Dengwa Njiru, we've not received a kind of positive result. And Maina Njenga was trending part of yesterday and other days of demonstration. The question is, is it okay or the searching where is uh, the searching where about of Maina Njega has come out to, uh, to an end? Because we've not seen anywhere Maina Njega is being presented before the court. I've not seen, I've tried my best to, to, to do my research. I've not seen Maina Njega being presented before the court despite the court came out giving that order. Now, in simple terms, we are in a regime of Moi era where someone is being abducted with no reason, without any kind of clarification. We don't know where he is, despite of the effort of his lawyers making a type of clarification what they know, We've not seen anywhere where they have told us that my Njega is okay. But despite of that, these people are coming out to claim that my Njenga is among the leaders that were planning Mungiki to come out and disrupt Kenya or create chaos and violence. This was just a kind of to brand Maina Njenga as someone that is planning to create chaos with his Mungiki team. And you've seen many times where Maina Njenga has come out to say he's not. Now he's saved. In fact, he said during the Kamkunji rallies that even he's a bishop. He's not connected with any kind of Mungiki. So those who are branding him behind this orchestration of Mungiki, he just the one to paint a bad picture of Maina Njenga so that he can be seen as someone that is still behind the Mungiki. But at the same time, there are certain leaders who are preparing and also, uh, let me say, they are um, mobilizing youth to be seen like it is Maina Njenga who is uh, planning this kind of ill things. We saw several videos that was... Um, circulating in social media on Tuesday before, prior to the demonstration that of Wednesday, 
we saw young men who were being given pangas, logs, and money. That was the question that came out, that is it my Nanjenga? Because what we saw was that the Kenya Kwanza allies came out say that that was the plan of my Nanjenga. But the truth, when you watch those videos, I analyzed that video. In any case you've not watched, you can go and watch. Where there are certain goons that were being given pangas na, uh, uh, with a thousand bow, some were being given logs, you know, to create chaos and violence. When you look at even their speech, their prayers, you could see they were praying that they were going to protect the government of William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa. So if truly it was Maina Njenga, who came out organizing, organizing those young youth? You want to tell me they could have come out to pray that they were going to protect the government of William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa? It is not true. So it's just a blame game where they just, they, want, they don't want Maina Njenga to be part and parcel of Azimio. Because let me ask, if today Maina Jenga could have been supporting William Ruto, you want to tell me he could have been um, arrested? Eventually, no. That's the truth. So this is just to put Maina Jenga on a blacklist as someone that is not good for the country, as someone that is there to create chaos and violence through this Mungiki, which when you look at even his response, he has been eloquent and vibrant that he is not part and parcel of that team. But at the same time, this is something that is occurring amidst where several others have been arrested and these are close allies of Azimio. So the intention here is to just to blackmail these individuals, just to make a kind of a frustration to these individuals because as we speak now, we are being told that Pauline Joroge, who was arrested yesterday at Watamu, that she has been found with the roles I don't know, three or two rolls of nicotine. This is just to brand or rather to paint bad picture of Pauline Joroge. You know, Pauline Joroge, she is a blogger of Azimio. And you know, Pauline Joroge has been so good when it comes to blogging. And she is a woman of her dignity. When you look at even how to give her information, is well educated and she understands what to do. And that is why the other time, Pauline Joroge came out exposing the government that some individuals were, were sent to her to leave the Azimio to blog for Kenya Kwanza government. And even she was offered a monthly salary of 500,000 Kenya shillings just to destroy the Azimio. But she never came out accepting, in fact, the position that was expected for, for her to occupy was given to another individual. So Pauline Joroge has been so eloquent, and even when you look at some information that she's getting, you will find that it's happening. There is no tweet, or rather any social media of Pauline Joroge, when it comes to her information, has come out to backfire. She has always been eloquent, good at blogging. She always get information, and we are being told even some of her gadgets yesterday was confiscated. They just want to understand where is this Poli Joroge getting information. And in fact, we are being told they are going through those uh, gadgets. But all in all, the truth is, as we are not sure of where is Maina Jenga, is he free? He, is he still abducted? And why is it that these people does not want him to be presented before the court? That is the question. And if truly he has been found guilty, I think it is the right time. That, that person, or rather Maina, is, guy, is protected under the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. If in any case he has been found guilty, he has committed any crime, there is evidence that he was mobilizing young youths, in the name of Mungiki, the way the Kenya Kwanza uh, allies are seeing, then it should be presented in the court and let the rule of law take its root. That is what we are requesting for. Because it will not be good, it will not be sincere for Maina Jenga to be detained like that, where his family is so strained 
and also they don't know what to do. I think it is good for him to be released. And if in any case he has been released, he should come out to tell Kenyans where he is because Kenyans are seriously asking where is Maina Jenga. Ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.